Hello everyone, and welcome to your complete and ultimate Fischl Guide. Fischl is one of the best 4 stars in the game, and has only gotten better as the game progressed thanks to the introduction of Dendro. This video is to guide any Fischl owners on how to roughly build and play her. As with my normal guides, this video will cover all of the following in order. General playstyle, talent overview, weapon options, artifact sets and stats, team comps, constellation overview, and an Abyss 12 showcase with multiple teams, all in an as condensed manner as possible. My own Fischl build is unfortunately not very good, due to my poor luck with the Golden Troop artifact set, but because of how flexible Fischl is with our artifacts, as we'll discuss later, this should not be too big of an issue. Alright, with all of that out of the way, let's get right into the guide. Fischl is an off-field sub-DPS who has multiple functions. Firstly, she is an excellent Electro Applicator thanks to Oz's high uptime as well as Fischl's own low downtime. Her own personal damage is also incredibly high, both in raw and aggravate instances, and her off-field nature allows her to be slotted into many teams similar to Sing Cho and Xiang Ling. Being an Electro DPS, she has also improved a ton after Dendro's release, not only for her own damage but also as a support. Her consistent Electro application and high uptime makes her invaluable to quicken base teams, so she is often paired with DPSs like Tignari or Al Haytham. Even outside of Dendro teams, she can also be used as a flex DPS. I personally use her a ton with my new Villette since she fills in the role of an Electro Applicator and high off-field DPS combined. Fischl's minor issue though is that she may or may not have full Oz uptime depending on your rotation, build, and constellation. Her skill alone does not have 100% uptime, so you have to rely on her burst to refresh Oz, and so if you cannot get your burst back by the 4th rotation or so, you'll be screwing yourself a little bit in the foot. Though to be honest, if you're taking more than 4 rotations to clear an Abyss Chamber, you are probably struggling for time anyways. And lastly, I just want to say that an on-field or charge attack focused Fischl in today's meta is, is just bad. So many other characters can make better use of field time than Fischl, and even Fischl's best in slot artifact set, the Golden Troop, favors playing her off field. So for those on-field Fischls out there, I'm sorry, the playstyle is dead. It's not that you can't do it, it's just that it's not very good. Alright, for her talents. As I mentioned, Fischl's normal attack talent is quite useless. Her normal attack string does the typical 5 hits of physical damage, and her charge attack is also nothing special, doing 1 instance of electro damage. So I'm just going to skip through this. Fischl's elemental skill is the complete core of her kit. When cast, Fischl will summon Oz, her bird, on the field. Oz will automatically deal damage to one enemy in his AoE every second. Oz will remain on the field for 10 seconds pre-C6, while the cooldown is 25 seconds. So technically, there is a 15 second downtime, not counting her burst. During Oz's duration, he can be repositioned by casting E again if you happen to move positions that's a bit further away out of Oz's range. This skill also snapshots Fischl's stats at the point of casting, but also re-snapshots when you reposition him as well. This is quite important if you have damage buffers in the game, since Fischl will spend the majority of her time off-field. For example, stuff like Nahida's EM buff from her burst will be very helpful in Dendro teams, as Fischl can take advantage of the EM and Oz will keep that EM for the entirety of his duration. Oz does not have standard ICD, instead Instead, he has a 4 hit or 5 second ICD. This is supplemented by her A4 though, which we'll get to later. Oz has an incredibly high damage multiplier, which is what makes her personal damage so good. Additionally, Fischl generates around 6-7 electro particles throughout Oz's uptime, which makes her one of the fastest energy generators in the game. A ton of characters, mainly electro ones, really like having Fischl on their team because they can solve a lot of their energy issues, mainly being Beidou or Yaimiko. While Oz is really strong thanks to his high damage and electro application, the most obvious downside is the long downtime of 15 seconds. To circumvent this, we have to discuss Fischl's burst. When her burst is used, you'll fly as Oz for 2 seconds and Oz will be placed down afterwards. If Oz was already on the field, his duration will be refreshed as well. While flying, you will deal damage to enemies that you pass through. The burst's main purpose is to just resummon Oz for Oz uptime and circumvent around his 15 second downtime, effectively bringing it down to a 5 second downtime pre C6 and a 1 second downtime at C6. Take note that while flying as Oz, Fischl cannot jump or dash, so the only way to cancel her flight is to immediately swap to a different character. I recommend doing this every single time unless you actually need to cover a significant amount of distance to reposition Oz. This burst has an okay damage multiplier, but it's nothing crazy, an average 60 energy cost, and a 15 second cooldown. 
Regarding your talent priority, her skill should obviously be the most important one to level, her normal attack can be left ignored, and her burst is... it's nice to level but it's also not very important. This is mainly because Oz's damage even after being summoned with her burst is still considered skill damage. So the only damage multiplier that this burst talent level affects is her flight damage, which is not that much. For passive talents, Fischl's A1 deals additional damage if you fire a fully charged shot at Oz. This passive is completely useless, don't bother doing this, it's a waste of time. Fischl's A4 on the other hand is one of the most broken passives in the game. When your on-field character does an electro reaction, such as electro swirl, overload, quicken, etc etc and the like, Oz will deal additional electro damage towards an enemy. While the damage multiplier itself isn't that high, the biggest perk of this is that the electro damage has no ICD, so it will always apply electro, which is insanely strong for stuff like quicken based teams, where Fischl will always proc aggravate with this A4. This A4 can be proc every half a second at the quickest, so it actually still adds up to a ton of damage. Depending on the team, this A4 may be used more or less, but because Fischl is used in so many reaction based comps, you are more likely to take advantage of this A4 anyways. Alright, for Fischl, she has a pretty decent selection of weapons for the 5 star options, and some pretty good 4 star ones as well. First off, Fischl's general best weapon is the Polar Star. This has crit in its substat making it easier to build, and it also has stacks that provide a meaningful amount of attack. The problem with this weapon is that you will need to build stacks if you want the full buff, which is kind of impractical for Fischl since it not only wastes field time, but also screws with your opening rotation. I don't really recommend trying to get all 4 stacks immediately, but for those who want them, you can just fire off one normal attack, one quick aim mode charge shot, cast your skill, then use your burst. This way, you gain all 4 stacks of the Polar Star. For me though, I don't really bother too much with these stacks, maybe aside from the first normal attack, it's just a bit too big of a hassle for me. A more unconditional weapon option is the Aqua Simulacra, which has less attack but a ton more crit damage. I like this weapon, but because so many other characters are also competing for it, you probably want to use it only on Fischl if it's somehow available to you but not needed on your other characters. Then we have the Elegy for the End, which is the best option for those who play Fischl in both Aggravate and as a quick and support. This is the best weapon to use since the ER substat is not wasted, while the EM buff is excellent for all quicken based DPSs such as El Haytham, Kaching, or even Fischl herself. And then most other 5 star bows will work as well, just purely as stat sticks alone, but I'd say the exception is the Amos bow, uh, which kinda sucks on her. And then for her 4 stars, her two best options are the Stringless and the Alley Hunter. The Alley Hunter has a great passive for those who play Fischl off field, which is basically 99% of you, since its stacks and by proxy its bonus damage are very easy to gain. As for the Stringless, it's a huge damage buff to Oz, while also providing a ton of EM, which is fantastic for aggravate focus Fischls, but even if you aren't playing in a quicken based team, the Stringless is still a fantastic option, especially since the Alley Hunter is not commonly obtainable from the Gacha. Then we have the other miscellaneous bows, such as the Fading Twilight, which is pretty good for Oz's damage, and the Favonius, which is also an okay support option. I'd say if you have the Ellie Hunter or the Stringless, you'd want to avoid the other 4 stars since they are so much more inferior, but they are usable if you're desperate. <laughs> Okay, onto artifacts. Fischl is a DPS with a DPS build path as well. Her typical substats to look out for are crit, some energy recharge, and elemental mastery if you play in quicken based teams. For her crit, you want to target the usual 65-70% to crit rate minimum and at least 120% crit damage assuming you are not using a crit weapon. A 70-120 to crit ratio is roughly equivalent to 200 crit value in artifacts, which is about the standard artifact quality at this point. And I know, my own artifacts are not that good, it's just shy of 200 crit value. Look man, my golden troop luck has been awful. <laughs> As for how much energy recharge you need, it kind of depends on how often you want to burst and whether or not you have C6. If you want to burst every rotation, it's kind of hard because you'll need around 130% or more ER to be comfortable, which can be slightly lowered if you have C6. The thing is that with Fischl, you kind of don't need to burst every rotation since you'll often cycle between using her E and her burst anyways. If you want to burst every other rotation, then energy recharge, even without substats, is probably fine, though it might struggle a bit in single target scenarios. And then for those of you who play in quicken based teams, elemental mastery is going to be a consideration as well, but her crit is always going to come first. So just take any EM substats you get as a bonus, but don't specifically try to get EM at the cost of other stats. I'd say if you have at least you know, around 100 EM or so, that's more than enough. As for Acro Artifact main stats, her sands should always be attack percent, her goblet should obviously be electro damage, and then her circlet should be crit. 
Regarding her sands, even for an aggravate based Fischl, an attack sands is generally still better, not to mention that it's a lot easier to obtain, so I would generally try to dissuade you from using an EM sands. EM sands just isn't that worth it. And then for her artifact sets, her obvious best in slot artifact set is going to be the 4 piece golden troop, which provides us with 75% damage bonus when Fischl is off field. Because this damage bonus doesn't apply directly to Fischl's stats, you don't have to worry about Oz not snapshotting her stats with this damage buff, it'll always apply. This set is absolutely ridiculous just cause it provides so much bonus damage, being more than the equivalent of 2 elemental goblets. If you want your Fischl to perform well, you should just camp this domain for the next few months. But at the same time, there are other characters now and in the future that want a 4-piece golden troop. So as an alternative, Fischl can use 2-piece bonuses. Her typical 2-piece combo is going to be the 2-piece Thundering Fury and any of the 2-piece attack sets. This falls pretty far behind the 4-piece golden troop, but it's pretty easy to obtain and also works as a good placeholder. You can also use the 2-piece golden troop to substitute either of the 2-piece sets as well. And then lastly, I want to briefly talk about 4-piece Thundering Fury. This set only works for an on-fielder, and because Fischl is primarily off-field, this set is not very helpful. The damage increase is not, like, massive, and the cooldown reduction is also not super helpful if you have good rotations. I do not recommend using this 4-piece set on her. For teams, well I don't think there's going to be anything surprising, but Fischl is incredibly flexible. Fischl is basically a flex slot for teams that need a character with low field time, or can accommodate an off-field DPS, battery, or reaction procker. Firstly, I'm going to go over the Dendro-related teams. Because Fischl is such a reliable Electro Applicator, she's excellent for Dendro DPSs like Tignari or El Haytham. If you can afford to forgo a defensive slot, then this will usually be the best team, with Yaimiko and Nahida as the other teammates. Of course, if you want a defensive option, swapping out one of the characters for someone like Kuki Shinobu or even Yao Yao is going to work just fine as well. Aside from the Dendro DPSs, your typical Electro DPSs like Kaching or Raiden Shogun will also work great with Fischl. Regarding Hyperbloom, Hyperbloom is just not great if Fischl is your only Electro Applicator. This is mainly because Fischl should always have a crit build, and Oz will avoid blooms as he targets the enemies first. The only way to build a Hyperbloom team with Fischl is if you also use an animal character in the party who can be the one to swirl Electro on the field. Kazuha can work, but usually the best option would be Sucrose, since Sucrose can directly swirl with her normal attacks. And then aside from your Dendro teams, we also have the Taser teams. I'd just like to say that in general, I'm not the biggest fan of Taser, just cause the Electro Charge reaction is so weak. But this is a very easy reaction to drive in AoE scenarios that doesn't take much effort to play. You'll probably want to pair up Fischl with Beidou, and then your animal slot can be somewhere like Kazuha, Sucrose, or even Wanderer to drive the reaction. Speaking of Beidou, if you play Beidou at all, you probably always want to pair Fischl with her, just cause Beidou's energy issues are painful to play around without Fischl- What the f- In any team that includes Beidou, you pretty much will always want Fischl anyways. Beidou's energy issues are just painful to play around without Fischl's batterying capabilities, in addition to Electro Resonance just helping out a little bit as well. And then lastly, we have your miscellaneous teams. Your typical national teams, overload teams, or mono electro teams are all gonna work just fine with Fischl. Recently, my favorite use case of Fischl has been with New Villette, since she pairs so perfectly with him. She works in such a multitude of teams thanks to her strong off-field DPS nature, so you can generally just put her in whatever you want to put her in, and she'll probably work just fine. <laughs> Moving on to Constellations, I'm just going to breeze through them because her Constellations are actually very straightforward. Constellation 1. This allows Oz to deal additional damage alongside Fischl's normal attacks, even when he's not on the field. Unfortunately, because Fischl's normal attacks are useless and she's an off-field character by nature, this Constellation is also pretty much useless. Constellation 2. This increases the initial cast damage and AoE of Oz, a nice quality of life upgrade to her E. Constellation 3 and 5 are skill and burst talent level increases accordingly, typical normal stuff. Constellation 4. This gives a small damage boost when you cast Fischl's Burst, and also provides small healing. Uh, this constellation is pretty whatever overall. And then finally, we have a constellation 6. Far and away, her best one. Firstly, this extends Oz's uptime from 10 to 12 seconds. Then, whenever your on-field character deals damage to a certain enemy, Oz will deal coordinated electro damage towards that same enemy. This is independent of Oz's regular attacks, so this increases Fischl's overall DPS and electro application, increasing her already high utility. For those of you who are C4 or C5, I would actually urge you to try and pull for Fischl if she's on the banner, or buy her in the shop since she's pretty worth it. 
So most officials' constellations are nice quality of life improvements, though C6 really is the big one. The rest are overall pretty inconsequential. Finally, onto the Abyss Showcase. I'll be using my official in multiple teams on the bottom half of the current 4.1 Abyss 12. Thank you for watching this official guide. I hope it was useful, and I wish everyone the best of luck building her. Check out twitch.tv slash dukc as well, where I sometimes stream Genshin Impact. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.